how I made $650,000 in sales in just nine days. Guys, today I wanna to share with you a little bit of a story and also some strategies and tactics that you can take and apply to yourself, to your business about how I was able to generate $650,000 in sales in nine days. I know it sounds crazy, but also at the end, I'll share with you about, you can probably see a sword behind me, I'll share with you a little bit about how I came to get that as well. So now I wanna first start off where all good stories start at the beginning. So I was going through things in business and everything was going good, like in inverted commas, good. Not great, not bad, but ticking along nicely. And I had a mentor and I had support in the realm of marketing and I knew that things were starting to work and you know our business was starting to grow. But the biggest problem that we were having was sales because we could generate leads all day. But what we were finding is the leads when they were coming in, you know, the people would say, oh, you know, the leads are weak. No, you're just weak. It wasn't the case. It was like the leads coming in, we're talking to them. But unless it was myself, my team couldn't help them take the next step. Couldn't enroll them in our vision for getting them to do something more. At the time, we were selling stuff for $49 and they weren't able to make the sale. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. So I looked back and go, every time that we've hit a brick wall, every time that things have slowed down, what did we do? And it's like, well, we found a mentor, we found a coach, we found someone to support us to go to that next level. So I invested, I put my team into a sales training program with one of arguably the number one sales trainers in the world, Gulliver Giles, he's amazing, and Leela Cosgrove in the, their community and what they do. Uh, it was absolutely amazing what we were able to generate. I sent our team over to work one-on-one -on -one with Gulliver, worked great for a little bit. And we started getting results and they came back and things happened and we had a change of sales staff and it's like, oh, we're back at the beginning again. I feel like we haven't pushed forward. And the question was posed to me, it's like, how many sales are you doing? What sort of sales volume are you doing, Kim? And I was like, well, I have my sales team, so not much. And said, well, shouldn't you be focusing on bringing in the business? It is your business. Shouldn't you be focusing on figuring out how you can bring the most people in? And I was like, okay, good point. Point taken, I'll take that on board. What should I do? Well, they say, Kim, we have a program, right? We have a sales program, it's called Residential. It's nine days where you come, you hang out with us, and you do sales for nine days straight. And I was like, okay, like I'm out, I'm not doing any work for nine days, that already scared me a little bit. I'm like, my team's gonna be falling apart back home, what's gonna happen? And they said, no, that's like, this is what we do. And they said, okay, it's going to be $30,000 to do this program. And I just had like a dry throat immediately. I was like, $30,000? Like that's the most expensive thing I've ever heard of. And normally up until then, any programs or masterminds, I was like, yeah, we could put it on payment plans, you know, so we'll pay it off as we go. And then like, and it needs to be paid upfront within the next three weeks. I was like, okay, um, let me get back to you. Like there's no getting back to us. It's like you're in or you're out. And I was like, uh, I'm in. Right, I just committed, I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll be able to figure out a way to make it happen. So I said, give me till Friday. So I needed to find $10,000 between Monday and Friday in extra cash, not just sitting in the bank because our business still had to operate, in extra cash coming in. So I was like, okay, cool. I set my goal every single week. I was like, how can I find $10,000 in new cash? So I went on, you know, for what, lack of better words, a selling rampage. Like I would just go, I was picking up phones, I was hustling on Facebook. I was using every single process that I could to try and find out how I could get in front of people so that I could get this money so I could go and learn these the different strategies and tactics I was gonna to need to grow. So number one little tactical takeaway is that if you don't know the way there, just commit and figure it out as you go, right? If you don't know how you're going to be able to achieve something, if you just put out there that yes, it's going to happen, and then you start taking action, positive action towards it, not sitting and meditating, hoping that the law of attraction is gonna bring, bring that money to you, you'll find a way. So Friday came and I made $10,500 of extra cash that week. I was like, great paid them, then I was like, okay, I'm back at square one again. So Monday, I had to do the same thing. Three weeks in a row, and I made it happen over those three weeks. And to be honest, this was probably three, four months before the event. So I'd done it all, I was getting support, I was all happy, it was done, and we we're ticking along. And then it, the event got closer. I started to feel nervous, right? And it's not a bad nervous, it's that good nervous, the butterflies where you're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna be pushed outside of my comfort zone here which is what you want, right? Lesson number two is if you're not growing, you're dying. You always need to be pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone to see what's possible. And I don't mean making silly risks, but I mean like stretching yourself because I knew I was gonna be there for nine days with people who were at the top of their games and as well, it was a competition, right? So 
I sometimes I can seem that I'm not very competitive, but I do not like to lose. If I have the option for me to win, I want to win. If there's a ranking system, I want to be ranked number one. That's always my goal. So as it got closer, I was getting nervous because I was like, what if I suck? What if I doesn't happen? What if this? What if I just wasted my money? All these limiting beliefs in my head running through and I would start, like I jumped on the plane, I had to fly over to Melbourne to do it. And as I got there, I started getting even more nervous. And as well, I'd never seen these, like I think I've seen them once in person. And I was like, I'm gonna spend nine days with these people. Hopefully we get along okay over these nine days. So we started making it happen and, we, and I got there. And the first night I was at ease. Afterwards, everyone was there, everyone was pleasant. And I was like, okay, cool. I was like, look, worst case, very worst case, I've spent 30 grand, I'm gonna get something out of this. All I need is one little piece of information, one little thing to take away from this and it will be worth it because the next point, the next piece of feedback for you guys, next tactical thing to think about is if you ever invest money in anything, you only need one thing to make it worth it. You only need to act upon one thing to make that whole investment worthwhile. So it doesn't matter if you spend 10, 20, 30, 50, $100,000 on getting information, getting insight, coaching, and mentorship. If you look for the opportunity within it and you use it, then it's all worthwhile. But then the competition, the month, like we had a couple of days of prep, we went through, they shredded us to pieces on our numbers and everything like that, what we knew about our businesses. And then we started, we kicked things off. And as we started, I was like, okay, I want to be most prepared. So on Saturday evening, Sunday evening, I was messaging my team going, hey, I need everyone possible booked into my calendar. I drafted up emails, I sent out Facebook messages. I did four hours of work each night to prep up for Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I had my calendar booked from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., right? So I was not mucking around. I was doing 12 hours a day of calls that I was prepared to do. So all I did was then pick up the phone and start dialing. I just started having conversations with people. I used a script, which is so important, not because you need to sound like a robot, not because you need to follow something, but unless you have a predictable way of doing something, you can't measure the result. If every conversation you have, you go in every which way, you go in every single different direction, how can you measure your results? You can't, because every call will be different. You might go, oh, I convert one out of 10, two out of 10, three out of 10 people. That's inaccurate because every single time you're not using the same mechanism to test and measure it. So if you have a script, if you have a process and you ask specific questions in a specific order, then you can see what your results are. Then you go, great, from here, now I can make an adjustment to that process. But if you're just throwing literally crap against the wall and seeing what sticks, then you're not going to be able to do that because it's going to be all over the show. Everything is going to be messed up and you're not going to have good data, you're gonna have good analytics to be able to decide on what to do next. So I used a script, which I hadn't done before. Started working through doing the calls. Did all my calls on Monday. And because I'm competitive and because I don't like people to know where I'm at so I can have a little bit of a confusion in the air, we had a board, a whiteboard, and all the numbers were going up. And I wouldn't update my numbers until the end of the day. So everyone else was up there, they were putting their numbers up, putting their stats, and I could see them ticking over. And I just kept calling people, I kept having conversations, I kept following up with people. The end of day one, I think I was either a draw or I was second. So I think I'd done total sales volume of $110,000 in the first day, right? So even just on that was tr like tremendous considering what we've done previously. We were selling like year-long packages of marketing, masterminds, training, a lot of different stuff we were um, providing people at the time. And as we went through the process, I started to realize that really anything was possible. Because if in one day I can make $110,000, why wouldn't I be able to continue to do that every single day of the week or every single day for a whole year, right? If I can achieve it once, well, I can achieve it again because I've shown myself it's possible. So I think over the next couple of days I kept going and then I hit, as we all do, a roadblock. On Wednesday, I hit a, a speed hump, a roadblock, where I got into a negative mindset. I got into a defeated mindset because I'd been going first two days, momentum, momentum, 240,000 in sales, nearly, I think it was a 20 something thousand dollars in cash received, because we're doing a lot of payment, like, uh, payment options of one week at a time. So it means that our cash flow was actually going to increase over the next few weeks. But I started doing all these things, and I hit a roadblock, because what happened was as I started to see success, Right? I was then presented with really a hurdle going, how bad do you want this? Because the guy's like, oh look, you know, and we're looking at, it was within this week. So if someone I need to speak to again next week, didn't count. You know, and I was neck and neck with one of the other people in there. So going along, these were ticking, ticking, ticking. 
And I was like, okay, all right, let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can improve this. And I got hit with, I need a, we need a full proposal. We need a meeting with our directors. We need all these things, four, five, six different things that had to have happen. And I was like, okay, we can do that. And I got off the phone and I was just so frustrated and annoyed. I don't know if you've ever felt frustrated and annoyed something goes wrong in business, not that right, that you've been hoping to do and you've been hoping to jump over all these hurdles and you feel like you're flying and then you quickly come back to earth. But I had that feeling and I walked around for a little bit and all I knew was that it's not going to help me if I stay in the exactly same state that I am right now. It's not gonna give me any benefit. So I put on my one of my favorite songs, which at the time was All I Do Is Win, right? So it was pretty uh, prominent to the game that we were playing at the time. So I put that on, moved around a little bit, shook it out, and then I kept going. And the rest of the day was tremendous. The rest of the day went amazingly. And then it came Thursday and then Friday and then Saturday. And these were long days. I spent 56 hours on the phone that week, actually on the phone, going through hour long calls with people, helping them out where I saw fit. Now, not necessarily did I, um, was I using any high pressure tactics on people. If I couldn't help them, I told them, right? I didn't just make sales for the, make of, uh, the sake of making sales. But I went through, we ended up with 26 sales, over $650,000 in sales, and over $40,000 in cash received. Because like I said, we had payment plans going on, but over 650,000 in locked in contracts. Now for me, that was one of the biggest weeks, and probably still has been the biggest week of our business in terms of sales, up until that point, until probably this week, we've got a few things in the works, fingers crossed we knock it out. But at the end of that, because it was a competition, it in, uh, like enlightened me and I was going, and I was pushing, because I really wanted to win. I was able to take away, you can see a sword in the background. The winner of residential um, was given a sword. As a sales warrior, we're given a sword as a winner. So this is a sword from Lord of the Rings. Um, I think is the original one. My brother, if he was here, who is a uh, Lord of the Rings fanatic, would tell you exactly which sword it is. Um, but so I, the only reason I was able to have this and the reason why I put it on my wall and I look at it every day is to show me and remind me what's possible. Because we all get in our heads in business and we say, oh, we can do this, we can't do this, I couldn't charge this, I have to charge this. And in reality, none of that is true. None of that is true. If you can articulate how you can solve someone's problems better to them than anyone else or even themselves can do, and you can show them that you have the solution, people are always going to be willing to invest in you and invest in themselves to get those results. Heck, I've invested $30,000 to go to this course on the promise of making sales, which I did every day anyway, but I knew I was going to get more out of it, right? They, they understood my problems. They were able to help me to see what it was that I needed to move forward. So then I was able to breathe easy at the end of that because I knew now, I knew now that I had the skills, I had the tools, I had the resources and the strategies and tactics to grow our business to whatever level we see fit. So if you're watching this video and you're going, oh, I thought this was gonna be some real easy make money video, how Kim's gonna teach me how to make money, autopilot, no hard work. Sorry, that's not this video. Sorry if you've wasted the last 10 minutes of your life, right? This video is all about how do you apply the strategies and tactics of understanding your market and going out there and having a conversation with them. Our, our sales team does this every day. I do this every day because I'm always going to be connecting with people and finding out what their problems are, seeing out how I can help them, seeing how we can help them grow to the next level. And that's what you need to be doing in your business. So I hope that you can take a few little nuggets, a few little insights from this video and apply it to your own business, apply it to your own sales process and go, cool, if you, want, if you have a target that you wanna hit, get working, go to it. It doesn't mean you have to do that every single day for the rest of your life, but show yourself what's possible if you apply yourself, if you apply hard work for just a few days, just nine days, and maybe you too can have over 650K in sales come in. Who knows? I can't promise that, but I promise if you do the hard work, you're gonna get a great outcome either way. So guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give us a like, give us a comment, let us know what you thought. Any other content you wanna hear from us, let us know. And always, always, always subscribe and ensure that you get to see this before anyone else. Cause I mean, this is good stuff guys. You guys love it, I know. So make sure you do. Guys, until next time, I'm Kim Barra. You've been awesome, adios.